from an economic perspective of what it's like to run these aircraft if you actually want to not just fly it yourself, but you want to do it. I'll do both. I'll do flying for yourself and then flying for other people. Right. We'll start with this, but this is not the best example of a flying for yourself aircraft. Um, generally speaking, in this category of aircraft, which is a twin turbine, you know, pressurized monster, it's a light business jet. But once it's twin turbine, the FAA sees it as something very, very special. And they're very, very sure you're going to kill yourself in it, right? So the requirements are enormous, and so the costs do tend to balloon. So for example, if you want to fly this plane, whether it's with somebody else or whether it's by yourself, you have to achieve a type rating. Um, a twin turbine jet always requires a type rating, to my knowledge. Type rating means that you've got to go to a two-week intensive class, and then you also have simulator training. It's very rarely done in the real aircraft, but you go into a really expensive simulator that looks exactly like the aircraft, and you sit with the Czech airmen from the FAA and all of this, and you got to go through a series of maneuvers that are to ATP standards. So you can't deviate from your heading more than 10 degrees. You can't be more than 100 degrees higher than your assigned altitudes and your approaches. So it's it's a very difficult exam. You can take it any time, but realistically, if you don't have a lot of experience, you're gonna have some trouble with it. You can get either an SIC, second in command type rating, or a uh, pilot in command type rating. I have an SIC right now because I really, I'm not insurable as a, as a pilot in command, and I it's, it's a different thing. I'll get it shortly. Um, the cost of that type rating, for this airplane is $50,000, okay, because it's in a simulator and there's only one in the world. Um, and so before you even can even fly this airplane legally, it's $50,000. A CJ-3, for example, a, you know, a other aircraft, you know, you can get a type rating for a whole range of the aircraft for like $15,000. So when you pick an aircraft and you're thinking about a, a jet or whatever, the costs of crew are very important because, you know, it's hard to find a, a Honda jet captain right now. So I have to be one, um, but for other airplanes, it can actually be inexpensive and easy. So if you do go into a jet, um, one thing you're thinking about economically is the cost of, of you being able to fly it. The second is maintenance. You can get a jet that outperforms this one for $500,000 or even maybe even $100,000 or even for free. I know that sounds bizarre, but the problem is you'll get a jet that is just barely airworthy and needs all of these inspections and landing gear and this, that, and the other thing, and that can be a million or two. So it's, it's a whole other world, that should probably be a whole other show. Um, for me to fly this aircraft here today, part 91, right, where I'm just flying it, um, is about $1,000 an hour all in. It's um, not bad. Yeah, $1,000 an hour, which, no matter how you feel about it, uh, is actually a really good price for a jet. And here's how that breaks down, okay? Fuel is about 300 and some odd dollars an hour, Jet A. Um, jet A is a lot cheaper than low lead, which is like, crazy uh, and the uh, I have two programs see an aircraft like this has engines uh, and a fuselage and you never want to be surprised from a bill for these things so what you do is every hour you pay into the programs so I have two programs one for the fuselage and one for the engines so every hour I pay about 300 and some odd dollars for each of those programs 300 and something for the engines 300 and something for the uh, uh, fuselage that covers me so I know that when I take this plane anywhere, I'm only paying $1,000 only. But I'm only paying $1,000 an hour, but nothing will surprise me. If I'm stuck on the ground, or this engine stops working, or flames up, or whatever, Honda's gonna come and they're gonna take care of it. And, and that's, you do that. You don't have to do that. You can fly this plane for $400 an hour, but I promise you'll be broke in a year. When I fly it commercially, if you want to actually make money on an aircraft, you really can do it. And you can make money on almost any aircraft above, say, an SR-22 T-Series or an SR-22 Series. Because below that, you probably are going to have trouble attracting a 135 operator. When you want to take an airplane and you want to actually make money with it, maybe you want to be the pilot for it, you want to take people places and get paid for your own flying, which is actually what I do. If you want to do that, you can't legally do it. Uh, an owner cannot be the operator of their own aircraft commercially. So even if, as I do, I have, a, I have a commercial pilot certificate, I can fly for money, but it has to be someone else's airplane, operated by someone else. That's just the rule. Don't even try to fight that, right? That's, you know, they teach you in commercial school, you know, that's like number one rule. So I can never operate my own aircraft and fly for money. But what I can do is I can place that aircraft with what's called a, a 135 operator, that's a charter operator. 
That's different from like the, um, I think it's part 161, whatever. Right. Part 135 is private planes that are charterable, right? You're renting your plane to other passengers to do. And the 135 can provide you with a crew if you are not qualified or can bring you up to speed to be the crew. So in my case, I have a friend of mine who owns a really awesome 135 charter company. It's called flyadvanced.com. It's called Fly Advanced, but it's flyadvanced.com. You can Whatever. Um, and what's really cool about them was, is I came to them, he's a friend of mine, so it was easy. So I came to him and I said, uh, I really want to, like, I'm running out of missions. And honestly, I don't want to be buzzing around at $1,000 an hour in this thing. Like, that's not fun, right? You know, whether you can or not, there's a value decision you really have to make with aircraft, right? And um, I said, listen, but I want to fly. It's all I want to do. How can I legally and correctly and according to the FAA, charter my own airplane, but also be the pilot or at least the second in command. And flyadvance.com actually is able to do that. They made me, they hired me basically. Well, not basically, they did. And, you know, and they're bringing me through ATP school and they're uh, putting me with a more experienced captain uh, and stuff like that. And now I have the opportunity to fly this plane and I get paid. And, and when we rent the plane, the plane will make, so this, this airplane, taking away pilot costs, and um, you know, hotel stays and landing fees and all of that, right? Just the cost of the airplane is about two thousand dollars an hour. So, so if you wanted to rent this airplane, you could avoid those other costs, and you had a ten-hour flight. That's cool. That's your cost, right? Let's talk to Honest Joe's One Thirty Five Charter Company, who we don't know and doesn't know you. Right. Okay, let's go to him and say, I would like to. Uh, rent a Honda Jet with a crew because you're not flying it. You can't. You can't fly this for another operator. Remember what I said earlier? Right. You know, it would be, you would probably, how far are we going? Let's say now. Okay, you're going to pay $2,000 there. Okay. $2,000 back. Okay. So you're going to be at $4,000 for the round trip. Okay. okay. It's okay. a day trip, right? Right. So we've got pilots sitting around waiting for you. So you pilot got to get paid. Pilot got to get paid. So you now have a captain, because the, FB, the, the 135 will require two type rated, remember how oh. expensive the type rating is, yeah. right? So they have two type rated pilots up there, a second and a first. The first is $1,000 a day, and it doesn't matter if you only use them for two hours. So add $1,000, we're now at uh, five. five. I'll let you guys do the running total. Right. Uh, add $1,000 for the captain, add 700 for the co-captain or the first officer. Okay. Okay, so we're there. Add the landing fees, okay. right? If there are any, uh, they they can be it could be five hundred bucks maybe. Usually it's waived with fuel, right? And you're gonna pay. I'm not sure. Usually they'll charge you extra for the fuel, which will be about six hundred, seven hundred dollars. But actually they might it might be a I guess it's called a wet lease. Yeah. They might actually include it. It might actually be included. Right. So your little round trip jaunt of an hour each way. It's probably going to be about seven thousand dollars in this plane. It's not bad. No, it's not for this plane. But you know, we're carrying six people comfortably. We have a bathroom with a running water sink, right? We have Wi-Fi that is really awesome. It's actually probably better than most homes. Uh, it is the go-go thing on the bottom. You know, like you've you've seen it if you've been on a big airplane, the go-go thing. Right. This has that. So it's a really comfortable way. And if you got six people and you split that, right? Yeah, not so bad. That's this airplane. Now let's take like a, a 22T. Right, a Cirrus 22 Turbo or a Cirrus 22. That aircraft, and I actually am a captain for that aircraft. I actually can fly that alone, charter, and I do it with the 135, flyadvanced.com. And uh, that economics is actually really good. So you're, so I would say to you, if you wanted this, well, how many people are you bringing, Mike? So how many people are we bringing with us? Say three. Three? Well, an SR22T will totally be able to do that trip. You know, we'll be well under the useful load amount. It'll be great. Let's just take the 22T. It'll take us twice as long. So it's gonna be two hours, but come on. You could do two hours, right? And now our cost is anywhere from 400 to $600 an hour, right? And the pilot, I think, is... I, don't, I think the pilot's like 200 an hour or something, but it's only for the hour. Basically, you're gonna do that trip for $1,000 now. Probably. Okay. So those are the economics of it. That's awesome.